we're going to do the flame test. Are you ready? All right, so what's actually occurring to make a flame test happen? Well, we have metal atoms that have their electrons in the ground state, meaning the lowest possible energy levels, and we can look those up on the periodic table. Okay? Then we apply heat, so in this case from a Bunsen burner flame, those electrons get excited and they jump up to a higher energy level. Why? Because we gave them energy. So you can see right here, we have ground state, we add energy in, we excite those electrons, and they jump up to a higher energy level. But they don't like to hang out there because that's, they're unstable, that's stressful. So they will fall back down to ground state and in the process emit energy. And that energy we see as light. And how many energy levels the electron falls and from which energy level it falls. So is it two to one or is it three to one or is it three to two? Okay, so how many energy levels it falls and from which one to which one determines the color that we see. And just as like a quick overview, if it has a lot of energy, it's gonna end, tend toward the violet end of the spectrum. Less energy is gonna tend toward the red end of the spectrum. The elements that we're going to use in our flame test are calcium and potassium and sodium. And we're gonna pair them with chlorine for each one. So you can see that the difference in colors that we see is not based on the chlorine. It is based on the metal that is paired with the chloride atom. And we are going to do calcium chloride. So again, these wooden splints soaking in this calcium chloride solution okay and i'm going to go to the hottest part so the top of that inner core and there we go again we just started at the end to get a little bit of burning of the actual wood splint but the rest of that color was from what was on the splint and there we go we're going to use potassium chloride next okay so again i'm going to grab one of these splints that has been soaking in potassium chloride. I'm going to go to that hottest part of that flame. This is the one that's sometimes a little harder to see. Okay, now I started to get a little bit of burning on that, so I know that um, that is all that I can get from that particular splint. Okay, our first one we're going to use for this experiment is NaCl. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a wood splint. And remember the hottest part of that flame is the top of that inner core. Notice the wood splint has not lit on fire, so that color was not from the wood splint being on fire. And here is just an illustration to show some of the metal colors that we can see in a flame test. Now, you're not going to be tested on which metal produces which color, uh, but this just gives you an idea of the colors we should expect. So from sodium, we should have seen a yellow color, from calcium, or orange or orangey red color, and from potassium, we can really only see it along the outside typically, but a lavender color.